In this video, we will continue with general angles. You will find this on page 173 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at this example. Given the basic angle, now they give you the basic angle, beta, and the quadrant in which theta lies, find the value of theta. Okay. So if beta is 35 and it's in the fourth quadrant, they must tell you that. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit bigger to see better. I think it's good like that. Okay, then basically I can just say 360 minus that 35 and that will be 325 degrees. Okay, if beta is pi over 3, and it's in the second quadrant. Now, don't forget, I didn't tell you in the next, um, I assume you know. This is the second. This is the third. It doesn't matter the direction. So, if it's in the second quadrant, so in this quadrant, but this indicates it's negative. So, it will go this way around. Okay, so it's in the second quadrant, that third, and it's this way around. <clears throat> so, it will be the negative that you put in front, but it's the the pi plus that third, and that's negative 4 over 3 pi. Okay, and that's how you do it. So now it's just the reverse, you find beta. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number B and number C. I'm going to make it smaller again, because I want to make sketches for you. <clears throat> okay, let's start. So, number B. Beta is 60 and it's in the second quadrant. Let's just start and say it's number B. Let's make a line. I'm, I'm going to do both. Oh, I think it's better if it's in white. It stands out more. Okay, so this is B. And we will come to C. Okay. So it's in the second quadrant, so one, two, and it's 60 degrees. Okay, so it's here. And remember, beta is always the angle to the, this is always this angle, to the x-axis. Okay. That's beta. And that is 60, it's a little bit longer stripe there. 60 degrees. But this is between, oh, this is negative to zero. So it's meaning that it's this way around. Okay, so I'm going to put a theta to get theta, put the negative, and then because it's this way, it's 180 plus that 60, plus that 60, otherwise it would have been subtract, but the negative is just showing the direction. And that will give you a final answer of negative 240 degrees. Okay, the next one. Uh, it's pi over 4 and it's in the fourth quadrant. So I can already go and make my line in the fourth quadrant. Okay, and, and don't forget, it's always to the... Okay, let's just get another color. It's always to the x-axis. So that will be pi over 4. Let's make it in red. Mm. And now, this is normal. It shows you it's positive. So this is coming from the positive up to there. So then, <clears throat> remember this is 2 pi. So I will just take that 2 pi and I subtract the quarter. So to find theta, I'm just going to take the 2 pi and I subtract a quarter. Sometimes it's easier if you see it like this. So 2 minus a quarter... That will then give me 7 over 4, or you can say 1 and 3 quarters. I think 1 and 3 quarters is more of obvious, if I write it like this. Or you could have said 7 pi over 4, and that would have been. So that was in radians, and that was in degrees. 